Hi, and welcome to this vlog. Uh, today I want to discuss a very fascinating topic with you and it's the question on how intelligent are ants actually. And uh, yes, let's get right into it. Um, now the reason why I'm so fascinated with ants is the fact that they are eusocial. Uh, they have achieved amazing things. They have developed highly sophisticated social structures. They have achieved amazing feats like, like farming, uh, keeping animals as pets, producing medicine uh, for their colonies, keeping slave workers and much more. Things that beside them only humans are capable to do. Um, they, well, ants build cities, they build empires, they go to war, care for their injured and so much more. And I always thought that's extremely fascinating. And uh, the more I knew about ants, the more fascinated that was. I started to read about them, studying them, uh, watch every documentary about them and eventually even starting to keep them as pets so I could observe the, those things with my own eyes. But in the past I always believed that uh, the only reason why ants are capable of such feats is, is, is hive intelligence. You know that hive intelligence is that what makes it possible. Now Hive intelligence is an extremely interesting topic and we're surely going to make a video about it one day for the main series. Uh, what it basically means is that a group of ants is capable to make smart decisions, uh, decisions that an individual ant could never take. And um, well, for now that has, has to suffice, I will we'll talk more about it in a future video, I'm sure. But what I'm trying to say, you know, I. I used to believe that uh, whereas a hive of ants can create a form of intelligence, the individual ant remains quite a simple creature actually, mostly driven by instincts and not very intelligent or not intelligent at all. Uh, but I've been keeping ants now for a while and I have made some fascinating observations. I've seen ants solving simple problems without the help of other ants and I also observed that different ants of, of the same species, sometimes even the same colony, uh, had different behaviors or showed different behaviors. Some were more aggressive, some curious, some would be easily spooked and so on. Uh, just different, different kind of behaviors. And Now a month ago I read an article and that's why I'm want to talk about, well it's the first, it's actually the starting point, uh, it came out in May and it really captured my interest and it's an article based on a study that has been made at Michigan's, Michigan University. Uh, I'll put the link to the art article in the and the study that is based on uh, in the description of this video. Um, this article is not directly about ants but it still might have some implications on what we believe to know about ants. Now, the, in this study, uh, scientists were able to prove that paper wasps, uh, well, some species of paper wasps, are capable of some sort of logical reasoning. And this is a big deal because, at least as far as I know, this is the first time that this has been shown uh, for insects. You know, we have it has been shown for other kind of animals like like monkeys and birds and so on in the past, but it's uh, at least to my knowledge, it's the first time for insects. And uh, I don't want to talk about uh, this, the, the whole article right now, uh, because since it's not really about ants, but about wasps, uh, but I really recommend you to read it since it's, it, it's fascinating, it's extremely fascinating. However, there is one sentence in the article that really stirs my imagination, and one of the authors of the study said, I quote, this study adds a adds to a growing body of evidence that the miniature nervous systems of insects do not limit sophisticated behaviors. And now I know this study was about wasps and not ants, but, but ants are very closely related to wasps and what is the case for wasps might also be possible for ants. So I do, I do hope that there will be studies uh, for this about ants in the future so, if you're a student uh, looking for a topic for your dis dissertation, um, maybe consider it. Uh, it would be great to have something like that. Anyway, this study at least opens the possibility that ants might be more intelligent than we have realized so far. That they might even there. It is possible that they might be capable of some logical reasoning, and. Uh, now, I was really fascinated when I read this article and uh, tried to find out if there are other studies about ants, you know, that show similar things. And I haven't seen uh, any studies, uh, well, I haven't found any studies for ants so far, uh, 
when it came to logical reasoning. But what I found is um, I found two studies that really confirmed some of my 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 own experience I had when I observed my ants. And those talk, those studies are talking about ants having different personalities. And uh, by the way, I linked both studies as well uh, about about them, uh, both studies and articles about them in the description. So. Yeah, read it. It's very interesting stuff. Now, in my opinion, having a personality is some form of intelligence as well. So, now the first study talks about different colonies of the same species having different personalities. So, it's not about the individual ant, but about the whole colony. Now, for the study, they observed 27 colonies of the same species of uh, Aphenogaster, I think it was, yeah, that all had the same, and they all had the same conditions and they run different challenges for those colonies and realized that each colony showed a different personality uh, as a whole colony, you know. Uh, some colonies were passive, some aggressive, some took risks, uh, some were more careful and so on. And the fascinating thing is they repeated the test with the same colonies 11 weeks later and realized that the personality traits of the colonies remained consistent. So. Uh, that in itself it's extremely fascinating and in my opinion cannot only be explained with hive intelligence. It's, uh, yeah, that, how, how comes? How, how do they form their personalities? That's, that's very fascinating. Now the next study uh, I want to show you goes even a step further. They are talking about the personality of individual ants. This study has been made with Temnophorax, with the Temnophorax species, and they observed how individual ants behaved when it came to finding new locations for the nest. And they found out some ants were very easily satisfied, while others were more picky when it came to new nest locations, and others seemed to never be pleased at all. So they were the same species, they belonged to the same colony, but still they showed different personalities. Um, and this explains actually this explains a lot of things I have observed in the past, and it really stirs my the imagination. You know, we still know very little about what's going on inside the head of an ant, but I'm pretty sure it's more than just instincts by now. Um, now I'm not claiming that those ants are little Einsteins. Uh, I've seen my ants doing extremely stupid things in the past, and yeah, but but still there might be much more going on than we have so far realized. And now we still, we, we still know very little about in, the intelligence of ants and future studies might reveal more. But for now, we can only imagine how the world must look like through the eyes of an ant and what's going on inside the head of an ant, you know. Uh, but it would be fascinating to, to find out more in the future. Um, yeah, and I hope I was able to share some of my excitement, excitement and fascination about this topic and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have questions you want me to answer in the future vlog or ideas for topics for future vlogs, uh, please write a comment. And if you want to see future videos, subscribe. And yeah, hit the bell icon. And thank you very much. See you next time.